White supremacy permeates every corner of society and in every institution, police agencies to the FBI to the Department of Justice, all of it. The Southern Poverty Law Center tracks hate and extremist groups. Whomever is engaged in those groups, wherever that might lead. We have outed a number of law enforcement officers who have connections to white supremacy. Primarily, we've discovered that through their social media accounts. We haven't discovered this huge movement, but it's important to note that they are in every segment of society. Some of these groups are so decentralized, it's really difficult to establish any particular pattern. And when we do discover them, we do report on it immediately, and it's pretty regularly been the case that law enforcement fires them. If we want to improve police community relations, we would do all that we possibly can do to root out officers who have a bent toward white supremacist ideology. Thorough background and research need to be done. Most agencies now do something around bias screening. And then certainly we think that their social media accounts should be subject to regular check. I would encourage law enforcement to listen to the members of their community. There are lots of agencies who are doing just that. We will get better. The history of law enforcement as it pertains to African Americans is certainly tied to or comes out of the history of enslavement. During the time when the former Confederate states were creating their constitutions, they codified these black codes that continued to allow them to exercise control over black bodies and we're still experiencing some of that today. History has informed the present and until we reckon with that history in an honest way, we, we can't move beyond it. <laughs>